centres and a friendly face to welcome you. I've got a guy from the legal team joining me on the boat in a minute so I can discuss this product accurately. So I'm going to get my head around it now and learn a bit about it. He sounds like an idiot on the phone though, so I'm going to put these on the chair where he can sit. You may remember a couple of months ago when we were up in Casterbury Park, I was sent that solar bag 440 from OptiSolex. It was kind of a large fold out solar panel. We've actually used it on the back of Finn's boat most recently. Uh, he's got a Renergy system on his boat, but he hasn't got any solar panels. So to save him running the engine as much, we've put it on there, um, wired it into his MPPT and kind of seems to be working pretty well. I think he's getting about 200 watts is what it's maxed out at, but we're in the end of November now. We're in Camden, we've got buildings everywhere. We barely see any sun. In fact, I don't think we do really see any sun. We kind of see sunlight, but no direct sun actually hits the boats in this angle. Um, but OptiSolex have sent me a new product. They've also insisted, I've got this guy from the legal team at the narrow boat that James built to accompany me on this video to make sure that I don't make any factual inac inaccuracies. Um, but OptiSolex sent me this, which is the Solex Brick S1, right? Which is, and he also sent me these, which is some well chunky eight gauge cables. Um, and this is a solar mounted charger controller, which is to boost the efficiency of each solar panel. Um, and if I make any, as I said, if I make any mistakes, I think this guy is going to kind of interject. So, um, but this is it. It's a really nice, neat looking product. It comes with a mounting bracket, which you mount to the underneath of all your solar panels. Um, and with the cables here, you connect them to each solar panel and yeah, it is a charger controller. Uh, it's a bit more than just that. What? I'm just saying it's more than that. It says here the Solex Brick S1 is not just a simple controller, but a plug and play, infinitely scalable smart power unit. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, yeah, so this Solex Brick S1 is designed to optimise the solar panel's performance. Yeah, in very simple terms, yes, but the S1's quad channel architecture works like a V8 engine, processing four power streams simultaneously for higher conversion efficiency and reduced ripple, basically. Well, I mean, I was never going to remember all of that. Um, but like everything else in 2025, um, this Solex Brick S1 uses AI technology to... Oh, what does it use it for? Have you not looked at the brief at all? Powered by Instant Max AI, each S1 acts like its own brain, optimising each panel individually whilst coordinating with each other to share the load intelligently. This makes it so easy to expand your system, mix different panels without efficiency loss, and maintain full output of unshaded panels, even if one panel is shaded. So the idea is, if you've got a series of different solar panels, you get one of these per solar panel, and it auto detects the network. So you can now use these to mix and match all your panels. Can you? Of course you can. That's the whole point of the product. We've just been speaking about that. Huh? Multiple Solex Brick S1s auto detect, create a network and charge collaboratively. All right. It's really, really easy. Right. Even for you, mate. Why don't you tell them about um, how it's just easy plug and play and how easy it is to expand, yeah? So it's really easy to scale up. It's kind of power which expands with you because you can just get one for every solar panel. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with it. It's just a bit, you know. Why don't you tell them that the Solex Brick S1 adopts a modular architecture, allowing for the addition of controllers and solar panels to existing systems at any time without rewiring or modifying the original system. Just tell them that, I'd say. Um, also, don't forget about um, how it maximizes the yield of existing panels, yeah. 
So the S1 will enable your maximum yield on your existing solar array. Stop, that is firstly delivered a bit woefully, isn't it? I mean, come on, maximizing solar output is what this thing does. Give it some gusto, would you? Now, also, it's a meaningless thing just to say it maximizes output. You've got to tell them how it does that, right? So tell them that each Solex Brick S1 manages one panel independently, right? with a dedicated MPPT tracking for that specific panel. Therefore, each panel performs at its best, independently of others, all right? Now, I know this is all quite kind of specky stuff for you, so why don't you just stick to things you know, like build quality and what it looks like and how it feels. It actually does feel really nice. It's like a really decent build quality. It's not particularly heavy or anything, just, yeah, nicely made. Um, obviously, this is mounted to the underneath of a solar panel, so it's designed to be outside and it is waterproof. It's got an IP rating. I can't read that for the life of me. No doubt, you'll know. Yes, I do. The S1 uses a four phase interleaved power architecture to achieve an ultra compact size combined with an IP68 fully sealed enclosure with unibody molded construction. Okay, next job is the install. Um, these cables have got to go to, well, on my case, they're going onto the Lynx distributor. They could be going onto my starter battery, given the fact that's not getting any charge at the moment because of my dud alternator. These will be going onto the solar panel, um, but because it's night time, I will do that <coughs> tomorrow. Share the link. I was gonna share the link, but I'll, I'll do the link now. The link to this is in the description of the video. Um, so to find out all more product information and all the tech spec and everything, check out the link in there. And no doubt you've got something to say about the install, have you? Yeah. No, no, no I'm not gonna get involved in installation at all. That is totally up to you. Um, I'm pretty sure the ladies and gentlemen watching know not to use uninstallated tools for projects like this, unlike you. Um, and talking of tools, you didn't mention some of this useful information, did you? Um, the maximum solar input current is 50 amps for a Solex Brick S1. Um, solar input between 10 volts and 50 volts. And the maximum power on a panel, 450 watts for one unit. On a parallel connection, it's 450 watts. On a series connection, it's 230 watts. So, um, good luck with the install. Thanks for having me. Nice boat, by the way. So here's my solar bag 440 solar panel on the outside of the boat. Just putting it here for testing purposes. Although, I'm not gonna get much, sadly. And in terms of the connections, we've got the positive coming off here for the solar panel, and that is going into the positive here into the Solex Brick S1, and the negative coming off the solar panel uh, is coming into this one here. Negative off the solar panel going into the uh, Solex Brick S1 there. And then the positive out and the negative out going onto this cable run here. And then these will go onto, these terminal fittings here will go onto the Lynx distributor. Yeah, I mean, there's hardly any solar now. Oh, we've had hardly any all day. That's why you can hear the generator running. End of November, there's just not, there's nothing to be had. So it's no real, it's not really the right condition for me to properly test the solar panel or the uh, Solex Brick S1 and see what kind of difference that thing makes. Um, but it does mean I can wire my solar panel direct to my starter battery, bear in mind my alternator's not working. And so that is going to make a massive difference, even though it's even if it's just putting in 100 watts or whatever, it doesn't matter because that starter battery is getting nothing at the moment. So, um, and there's, uh, there's no real way of putting a solar panel to a battery without going through something. And it should be going through an MPPT to you know, manage the charge. So I feel much safer doing that, um, which is what I need to do because we need to move the boats pretty soon because the tunnel has reopened, well, the lock at the other end of the tunnel has reopened. So uh, we can make our way to Islington, which uh, should be pretty good. Um, so I'm sorry I haven't really managed to show any of my great stats on the solar panel or the Solex Brick S1, but if you look at their product page, which is full of information, um, and then yeah, you can find out more there. And obviously this time of year, there's loads of deals to be had. So um, yeah, be sure to check it out. The uh, link is in the description of the video below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.